What up, WeTube? Medically Fit here with Pedro's Grow Room. What's going on, everybody? So what we got going on, Pedro? Freezing my hands off. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> you no, see what uh, we got? We got a little dry ice. Of course, everybody use gloves when you're doing this. I'm just doing this redneck style. He's going to burn his fingers. Oh, but if you do it quick, it's not super bad. But We I've recommend got, gloves. Yeah, Always definitely, gloves. Definitely recommend gloves. Gloves um, help insulate, keep your hands warm. So there is a chance you can burn them if you hold it too long. Oh, yeah, for sure. dude. It, it definitely, more than a second, will get you. But anyways, I've got about two ounces of, of uh, Critical Kush trim, close trim, sugar leaf only. Um from this last harvest that you, everybody has seen. And here, why am I doing this? I don't know, that's why I was like, what you're just idiot. doing it by Jesus. hand, you Don't know? even touch this shit. All right, two, about two ounces of Critical Kush, and I've got about uh, almost two ounces of Alchemy trim. Actually, I think I forgot that other bag, but anyways, we'll put that in another one. And uh, we're making some dry ice hash, so using the 160 micron bubble bag dude.co, he's actually some pretty decent bags. Um, Especially for the budget person. Of course, there's 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 better bags you want to spend the money. I don't even know if I want to say better bags because these have lasted me a long time and they flip over the buckets really nicely. But um, what I'm doing right now is just letting it kind of get cold. Letting them. Uh, the trim was in the uh, was in the freezer since harvest. I let them let them dry about. Uh, this one was actually about 10 or 12 days, and uh, close trimmed it, uh, threw it in the bag, and put it right in the freezer. So pristine trim. This is the door. Mr. Robert Wright will love this. Um, this is actually the door that survived the golf ball incident. I'm repurposing it. I use it for my hash <coughs> shaking screen now. So, again, 160 micron bag. I figure I only keep everything underneath the 120 anyway, so I wanna, that's the bag I'm going to use. And we're probably going to, today, we're actually probably going to collect this up and put it underneath the rosin press and squish it out. Yeah, do we're going to see what we can come up with. Do some damage. Okay. Um, so... Some pro tips, definitely break your dry ice up before you put it in there because it'll get everything colder. Um, you probably should mix it up a little better than I did. I put the dry ice on top of the flour. I should have mixed it up a little bit. And then you'll notice I have a nice long surface here. What I'll do is I'll always start shaking on the one end, move, shake, move, shake, so that I can see the different color as it's coming out. And if there's a spot that I'm like, well, I shook it too hard, I can just discard that material. But um, all it really involves there's some quick shakes. There you go, it's coming out. Oh, and yeah. I always like to just let it sit for a second, just so that any new trichromes that maybe weren't sitting next to the dry ice get a chance to get really cold and brittle so that they'll break off. And I, and I don't really do it extremely hard, obviously, as you see. And I always try to give just a little bit of a a circular motion so that the dry ice and the material kind of, you know, revolves inside there. So that's really nice. <laughs> really glad. And then uh, this little trick that I'm doing here is I'm, I rotate around to use the different screen, the different part of the screen. Also rotates the material. And man, I'm really getting a lot of, holy cow, good truck, good, good material right there. And I'm colorblind, and even I can see that that's good. Still, let's move over this side. What are we in, what are we, 90 seconds of shaking now maybe at the very, very most? And Almost I mean, a I'm, couple minutes. And I'm like not yeah. even shaking the entire time. No. It's just every now and then. Yeah. But what you're really looking for is the material to start being pulverized to where you're going to be getting plant material out. Stop there. I'm starting to see maybe just a, a hint of green. Just a little hint. So this one down here, if you notice, I moved quite a bit further down the mirror. I'll heat this one up a little bit more. And we're just about done. So yeah, probably an entire shake time. I mean, as far as actual ag uh, uh, agitation, two minutes. It's still light colored, but this is definitely gonna be the last shake that I do. Oh, 
Yeah. You can start to see a little green. You agree? Yeah. Let's give it a couple. Yet. You can see some of the thicker stuff starting to come out. And let's give it up. It's kind of hard to really pick this up on camera because of the glass that we're using. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see how dark or I got darker green over here. Yep. So, yeah, we're definitely done. <laughs> this was the first batch, and this looks in the light. I don't, the camera doesn't give it justice, but it looks like a <clears throat> beach sand kind of color. This one, you can see that it's the beach sand, but it's starting to green a little bit. Here we're starting to get kind of some, a little bit, maybe some material coming out. Uh, it's a little bit bigger chunk in some of this. And then here we can tell that we've got quite a bit of green. We've got definitely some plant material in this. So this would be more of the, not what we're going to use to press. What are we doing with this one? We might. We'll take a look at it. I'll probably, and I'm, I'm seeing some sparkles as I look back at, you know, through the so what I'll do is I'll, I'll collect this on the side. Well, um, we'll put it on a little container. We'll hit it with a scope. We'll see what we have. If we got a lot of plant material, we'll it, just use it for bowl topping. Um, and if it looks good enough to press, I'll mix it in with everything else. There you go. Cool thing is, is the floor that you're looking at right there. Do a little bit of look at. Oh, this this, this is Pedro's this, grow room. This is Pedro's grow room. Used to, be, used to be. Pedro's the big grow room, so. big grow room, but it's no longer the big grow room. There's a tent behind you actually testing it to. To use in quality tents, that, that tent is in flower right now. Um, so and this has one of the PLCs from Gene. Two of the PLCs. Two of the PLCs. Flowering. Yes. One, two, three, four. Uh, Malibu pies from Motion Girl. Nice. Okay, so we're going to kind of scrape all this up in the piles. Yeah, what I'm going to do is just going to start here. I'm going to draw a line from the stuff that we don't <laughs> want. Good luck using the cards. Close the count. Um, here's another little pro tip. When you're cleaning your, when you're trying to clean your screen here to collect your material, don't collect it like this. Push it. You'll get a big buildup underneath your card. Because then you're smearing it. <laughs> and yeah, you'll just break your trichromes and smear them all over. This is kind of snow plow, pushing it, collect it together. Go around your edge. Get your stuff off your edge. Give yourself a place to start from. Goodness. Quite a bit of material there, huh? People? Oh, it's super sticky too, you see that? Mm hmm. A couple little contaminants in the form of fuzz balls or hair or whatever. But this is personal, so I don't really care. It won't come out in the bag. No, it sure as hell won't. Everybody always asks me at the end of when I press this stuff too. Like, well, what was your yield? What was your percentage? What was this? And I unfortunately have to say, I don't know. I don't really formally weigh my stuff going in. Don't really formally weigh it coming out. I just know what the quality comes out as, and that's really what I'm concerned about. Yeah, we're not worried about the quantity of it. We're worried about the quality of it. We're worried about how high is the medication. Because this is personal, and that's all it's meant to be so we don't really care about the weight that'll probably stuff one really big bag or and it is really sticky shit by the way that'll stuff one Let's really big bag let see if I can zoom or, in on this or maybe two. Oh yeah you can see it just melting I mean. dry ice hash some people don't like it some people can't get it to work or whatever. And we used a 160 micron. Yes, sir. Oh, let's see how well the zoom will go in. Oh, look at that. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. It's because you're excited. Like I, not just excited, we dabbed out, fucking got some coffee in me. Yeah, we did dab out a little bit. Some wow. some flower rosin I pressed out, some uh, Smurfzilla, Critical Kush. Looks like beach sand. I would have recorded it. I would have turned my camera to watch you come falling down. 
Probably got more hits out here. There we go. All right, now we're coming down. Let's check out what's going on. This is the one that had the material in it. Yeah, you can see the material in some of this. Doesn't look horrible. No, I might mix it. Just mix it in since we're making rosin out of it anyways. Yeah, and yeah. It's just personal. Come on, let's, there we go. I might just mix it in. So oh yeah, you can see. To me, I can see a lot more green to this product. Sure. Oh yeah, there's definitely a different color. If this is enough to. Oh, light coming on, oh, Pedro. No, that's my fan coming on. It's not periodic because it's in. A, it's just in the four by four there. So I only have it kick on every 15 minutes, every half an hour, or something like that. I forget what it is. But anyways, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. And there we go. So we'll collect it. Ouch, my knee. Okay, so we'll be back. We're gonna collect this and uh, kind of show you what's going on when we go to press everything. We'll go over the room and we'll stuff it. We'll press it. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we're about to do the collecting of it. So what do you do? Anything special, Pedro? You just put it on your parchment paper? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I just needed a place to collect it, so I just wanna grab a piece of parchment paper. Oh my God, it almost fell. Um, parchment seems to be a nice slick surface, and I just happen to have quite a bit of it on hand. You know, I've seen other ideas or other products out there that are a little bit better, thicker, than uh, parchment paper, and I'm gonna have to look into it, because I'm not, a fan of pressing with parchment paper much anymore, although that's all I do because that's what I have. Um, yeah, I'm just collecting it. And then whatever's left on the screen here, on the glass here when we're done, we'll, we'll uh, collect it, put it on top of a bolt or roll it into a joint, something like that. So yeah, that's just to get it out of the room. So I can take it somewhere else and weigh it up. This is his way of collecting everything. It's just a simple. Yeah, it's, it's this isn't a pro tip or anything. It's just just what I do. There's a lot of kiss involved here. It's called keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, use what you have, just do it. Um, there's probably people. Oops. There's probably people who would be like, oh my god, you should have done this and you should have done it this. Yeah, I know. I know. There's other ways. There's better ways. I'm not saying this is the best. We're just that's why putting this on. It. We're just kind of showing you on video what, how to do this. What this I is do. a step. Whatever. This is what Pedro does. <laughs> this is how we're recording it. So, cheers. Pedro was like, "Oh, you really want to record all this?" <laughs> yeah, Pedro, let's record this. I, I just because it's just a little thing I do. It's not like I, I'm a professional. That's what I get worried about. Is people like calling me out saying, oh my god, you should have done it better, you should be doing this, you should be wearing gloves, you should, you know what? What? You don't want to be memed? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Got my two tubes. Alright, we'll be right back. We're going to take it to the area where we're going to put it in the bags and press it. Yeah, well, we'll weigh it up first, but sure. Okay. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to weigh these real quick. This is the second one. Okay, we're going. I was just trying to look back. And... Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, this was the one that had the plant material in it. Yeah. Just now, a little we're going to check the weight on it real quick. I guess there's kind of a convenient way oh, for a reason to... Look at that. That was pretty sweet. Came out on like a little fucking turd. Whoa. That's Four and a half grams. Four and a half grams, right about. Ish. What we got. Okay. Okay. Reset. Oh. Tear. Okay. Oh my god, don't be off 0 0.05. That'll screw all my It's gonna fuck, up. see, it's gonna fuck everything up, Pedro. It's all your fault. Dump it on this end. I'm working. Okay. I'm you trying. Got, you got a big turd about to come out. Big old baby. Where's it at? It's still coming. Where's it at? Come on, push harder, Pedro. Oh, oh here it comes. I feel there it, it is. Mm. Look at that. Look at that, just peel apart. I mean, that's not straight grown heads. <laughs> uh, just over 8 grams. Okay. Well, that's a good goop. Can you see it? I yeah. think we are going to probably press these separately. 
I'll just cut my bags on the sides. There we go, people. Okay, so we're gonna get these put in the bag, and we'll show you what we're gonna do with the press. We'll be back. Oh, a little bit of Malibu pie. He just got done harvesting. Um, this one is the critical Kush. Um, there's a couple more zip containers around here. Just kind of, you know, brief interview while Pedro's getting everything ready. That's uh, still a couple samples. Try this later. Yep. Sure. Still a couple little buds to smell it. See how it smells. Mm. Come down in here, you want to get some video? So everybody wants to see up Pedro's skirt, so to speak, so now we're inside the SIPS containers and why I keep them sitting around. I don't know if you can see them all up in here. Hopefully it comes through in the video. Oh, I can see it. But I Let's farm see. Stradio S. Where are they? Oh. Yeah, it's going to be really tough to get it with no. the shaky hand, but there's uh, I seen there's thousands. Two of them. Where are you? Here, let me drop these. These are where you start to see them. No, they're not going to perform. Come on, circus right. animals, jump! <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we keep these around um, to reuse and to uh, and to farm the bugs, oh, the beneficials. I can see. I don't know if it's picking it up, but I can see them down there, moving. So yeah, when I get people that send me dead Stradios that is because they can't get it to me on time through the mail, I take care of them myself. Yeah, we're uh, starting to put this in the bag, and this stuff is so hard and chunky. And this is the actual first shake, uh, the first bundle we put together, the eight grams. And yeah, this I mean, you can see it here. It just it's like sticky, super super sticky actually. Um, Pedro's having to cut it with the <laughs> tip of the spoon. Plus, you get rosin bags that are like all weird, and. So the best way to do this, guys, is to try to get a spoon, and it, and it just goes in a lot easier. Goodness gracious. This is going to be a good squish, guys. I'm kind of excited to do this. Jealous is, going to be, jealous is going to be on your page and not mine. Everybody asks for rosin videos, so you're about to get a bunch of views. See, that's why I always come prepared. Pedro, we're making a video. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, we'll be back as soon as we get these filled up and uh, squish some squishy. All right. Okay, so we got them pressed. Uh, we'll be right back. <clears throat> we're going to take them in the room, and we're actually going to get everything moved down, and then get them ready for to be pressed. Uh, the Pedro's getting the uh, heaters turned on on the press, so we'll be back here in a minute. All right, so we're back in action. We've got the flash turned off, so we can get you just the natural lighting and what's going on. And all I've done here so far is, uh, what did we say this was, eight? Yep, eight grams. Eight grams, 8.1 something. Um, I've cut my bag-ish for my plates. My plates are three inch by six inch, so I cut them about six inches long. Um, I am going to modify the length. Shitty scissors, jeepers. And for all the hating comments that will be left on here about <laughs> how things are done, I'll just I'll just remove them. Like, and I'm not I'm not just, a professional here, so we're just here to show you guys what Pedro's way of doing things are. <clears throat> I was in the place just a little bit on the press, just so I can seal my bag over. Oh, oops! Don't want any hash in there because it'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Leave rosin on your plates. Don't want rosin on your bare plates, man. Okay, so this is how he's sealing it and closing Oops. it. Started popping out on you, didn't it? I just didn't get the seam in there. See, this Pedro, is raw. Pedro hates this. That's what I was just getting any comment about. Because I don't edit, I just shoot and go. I don't edit my videos, I just put it how it is. and I like it raw. Raw footage is the best. And I like editing my See, so you don't hear that? Like my little pump likes to... He put, he's, he's putting some real pressure on it, that's all. So just a real quick little squeeze. Just so it 
kind of curls over. Kind of gives a little curl. There's a lot of people who are going to cut it and do their folding tech and whatnot. And there are much better ways to do it. I really need to figure out a better way to fold the bags. Um, so if you got a better way, you can be nice and leave those comments, and Pedro might take a look at them. Oh yeah, I'm down. I'd love to learn a new way to fold, a better way to fold. There's a there's a way I've seen people fold or cut cut the end of their bag, like you know, more of a triangle, and then like fold it down inside the bags and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just haven't really perfected it yet. I don't. I guess when I have to find something that works for me, I just kind of stick with it. So. Uh, Sorry, I'm going to get it up in your face yeah, right. once in a while here just to open up the plates. Just that open. We're not pressing flour here, we're just pressing it on. Pedro likes to play with handles. Yeah. Cool, I haven't pressed, um, I guess I did press hash a little while ago. Yeah, Pedro pressed out a bunch of stuff before he got here. Now we're doing some dry, uh, dry ice hash. And this is where I really wish it wasn't live because we don't know if it's gonna blow out and he's really nervous about this and this is what makes it even better because we can laugh about it as we're recording it like sometimes pedro's hoping keeping his fingers crossed sometimes what's going through pedro's head sometimes it does blow out um yeah whatever shit happens i'm I'm gonna try not to give it very much pressure or just enough to not blow out so normally i would pack this with 10 grams, and I know exactly how much pressure, how big the bag to make. I have that all figured out with 10 grams. With 8 grams, it's just a little bit off my calculations. So, it is what it is. Okay, go slow, Pedro. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm just going to try to get, so what I'm doing now, I'm going to use a seam, and there's that seam that wasn't quite It's starting over. to kind of open up a little bit I'm on just, him. Uh, I'm just making sure that it gets caught. That way it doesn't blow open. But yeah, make sure it seals over. If you, if you see the temperature up above, by the way, best value max, shout out, their 20 ton hydraulic press works wonders. All right, so let's get some magnets on here. Because everybody likes seeing the drippy drippy. We're going to come around Pedro so we can get close in on this. I'm going to reposition that bag one more time. This is where I like to get really particular with it, make sure it's kind of almost perfect. And I always like to try to make sure that it's not pressed right up against the plate right there. Mm-hmm. I'll pull it out just a little bit. So, so it runs that, off. So that it bit. runs down and it cools as it runs off the plates, the rosin itself. So we're at uh, 165 or 169 degrees on the bottom plate and 179 degrees on the top plate. And I am barely applying pressure at this point in time. I just felt it kind of squeeze. What I'm trying to allow to have happen right now, especially with with hash is I want it to spread out. I want it to get warm. I want it to fill the pockets of the bag. Although I've done that already, you know, with manually, um, the heat and a little bit of pressure will allow it to to melt, essentially, with, you know, because I'm using pretty darn good hash. And it's it's going to spread out in the bag evenly and, it'll, and it'll hopefully avoid any blow out. And so, that, I mean, I'll do this for 30 seconds to a minute sometimes, just kind of gradually applying pressure. Now I'm really kind of giving it a little bit of pressure. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it because you can definitely see, an, see it's can, starting to come you out. You can see anomalies sometimes when you're pressing hash and you'll see like, oh my god, it's coming out a lot over here if you happen to give it too much pressure. And what that means is it's <laughs> potentially it's going to blow out. So here would be a potential, you know, just a, just a watch spot. It starts giving a lot of material, I might worry about it, but it's not right now, so. And then the Rosin Rivers start. Again, this is uh, dry ice hash uh, through 116 60. micron. Um, best value back, or excuse me, um, what the hell, bubble bag dude bags. See, this is where I still wish that the flash was on, you're getting that. That's okay. You can still see how golden color 
and my my press over here on the right, my gauge is is literally is is uh, displaying nothing. There's no there's no pressure. So we're not even at two thousand. We're not. At, yeah, we're at like even nothing. We're, I mean, we're just it's just a little squeeze. I'm starting to gradually increase the pressure again. You know, we're at a damn near a minute of the press here. Gradually increase again. It smells so good. So the two that we have together. Yeah, the critical cush. Um, did you I, put both of them in there or just the critical cush? I thought that no, was. No, this was both. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I put both bags in there. So it's critical cush by it's a it's a femmed plant by uh, Barney's Farm. I've actually kept the cutter around for a while. And um let's give another pump or two here. And then uh, alchemy from uh, TGA Genetics. So that's as much pressure as I think I'm gonna put on this. You know, just about here I'll run up to reading two thousand pounds on my gauge, which means that I'm putting about 550 PSI across the 3x6 plate. And I'll press this thing where I set it 160, 180 seconds. I didn't push the button until about 20 seconds in, so we'll have a nice nice three minute press here at a low, low temp. Okay, so I'm going to get off of here and we'll be right back when this is <coughs> finished. Um, and we'll take a closer look and we're going to try it out. We'll be back. Pedro's got 262 presses on this so far. It's done. 263. 263. So now he's releasing it. Oh, wow. That looks so lovely. I always leave the magnets on because it kind of helps pull the, pull the bags apart while it's really warm. Yeah, there's the first press. There we go. Just a little bit of rosin. Aww. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take this. What do you want to do with that? Um, let's press a couple more. Oh, I'm going to press this again. We'll press the second one, and then we'll go take taste test it. And there you go. We'll be right back. All right. So we're back. We're about to do Oops. the press <laughs> with the second eight or the four gram. We already did the second press. Not much came out of it. We don't need to show it all. Yeah, it's right here. All right. There you go. That's it. There wasn't much. Told you, oh. not much to show y'all. We're not gonna get nowhere near as much out of this bag because, of course, it's only four grams, half of what we had the first round. And this one had a little bit more plant material to it, so. But we'll squish it anyways. Pedro couldn't believe how long this video is. He's like, you're not gonna do any editing? No. Okay. Everybody wants to see what really happens. Yeah, I guess, it was like, yeah. Raw, it's raw. You, you open up, the, everything's raw. But keeping it real, no editing, raw footage. If there's a blowout, it happens. Right. Trying to figure out which way to put that. I want to put this in here. I usually don't do bags this small. I probably should put it this way, but then it won't squish out as nice. So I'm gonna put it this way. See, See I, would, I would have just edited that out. Pedro doesn't waste his time with this small amount, but we're just doing it to show you guys his style, kind of how the two different materials really turned out. Um, after shaking it for several minutes and the material in it. Plus, we like to bring our grow community some really nice footage of what we do. Brown chicken, right, right, here we go. Let it heat up again, spread out. Doesn't change. This is uh, definitely lower quality. We kept that separate. In honor of Mr. Father Mike, we always have our caffeinated beverage. 
Oh, show them the uh, Jelly Squad while we're waiting for that to start coming out. Oh, cheers to Ocean Girl. You see the Jelly Squad? Kind of ironic, but pretty cool. Damn good color in that. Oh, Damn yeah. good color. No contaminants. Okay, hey, yeah, we Christmas. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're not going to get as much coming out, but we're going to do what we can. I'll see it. Oh, oh, it's like the turtle head coming out. Starting prairie dog. Doesn't look horrible. Looks a little dark. But yeah, I can definitely say it looks a little darker than that first batch. But see if I can make it run. Sorry if there's oh, a little yeah. bit. Supposed to push the button on the timer. Oh, 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 yeah. We're we're already way into time and forgotten about the timer. There she comes. What do we have on pressure? About a thousand, so about uh, two hundred twenty-five psi across <clears throat> the plates. Jumping up. Just about 2,000, so about 500 PSI right now. 550-ish, somewhere in there. Not a lot of pressure. Not a lot of heat. This one's pressed at 170. Plates jumped up just a little bit, but... And see, we do have some music playing in the background. We just have to pause it because uh, Pandora... Oh yeah, I was going to start it, but damn, I can't. YouTube's bad about that, even with Pandora. We, we want you guys to watch this and not it be blocked in other countries and whatever. Or else we'd definitely have some Mendel Dope going. Uh, we got what, some... What's his name? Mr. Garth? Mr. Galt, Garth, Garth Cultivator Garth. and Be Real and, you know, Burner. Some of the ones who we like to listen to. Yeah, definitely a little bit darker material, but that's all right. Personal. Love it. Someone asked me to my next metal with Fly Harvest. Pretty boring stuff watching Rosin roll down here. Kinda. I know we set the time way later, because mm -hmm. it would normally be done by now, but... Okay, so we'll come back, kind of like we did last time. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. This was the four grams? Yes, sir. Four and a half grams. All right, so Pedro's starting to get this all scraped up. This is that first run. Look at how nice and golden brown. I like that, it really looks good. Okay, so we're gonna scrape all this up. We're gonna kind of get you a final weight on what this first press came out and uh, what the total weight was from it. So. Stability is beautiful, by the way. Oh, when you closed the parchment paper on it and it didn't stick to both sides from the drip runoff, dude, those little sickles look so beautiful and the color. Look how fast that, wow, look at that. Man, this is coming together so much better than the other stuff mm -hmm. so seems when, you, when everything lines up and it's proper, the heat's right, everything's right. See, what, see I'm a lot better at pressing <laughs> ash. See what happens when Pedro's under pressure, he creates a better product. <laughs> I'm, I'm better at, be, er, at uh, pressing <laughs> ash. Stuff. I guess we can probably do this live right up here. Just turn it on. And do it. Here we go. This is just the one we still got another. This was the eight gram uh, first press. This is not the two press. Yeah, so this will be, I guess, most of the press. Yeah, yeah. I'd say there may be a gram or two on the other one, if that. But uh, this will heat up and drop off. And again, I'm not after quantity, so. Bloop. Mm, there's still a little bit on there, but for what it is, almost a 50%. If you, yeah. Works for me. 
So we started off with 8.1, yeah. one, whatever, and now we're down to, Pedro will get everything wiped off, three and a half. So almost a 50% return. And we got a little bit left. On and the we still paper. have a second press. Which isn't a lot. Which isn't a lot. It's not another gram, so. So, so really about 50% return. Yeah, maybe a little more, but yeah. But we have what? Rosin. No, it's bad. That's rosin too. See, we don't have just dry sift hash, dry ice hash. We have some rosin. So, all right, he's going to get this done. We'll be right back. All right, so this is how Pedro gets his resin off his oil. That's it just to warm up. Bloop. And this stuff looks, oh, so lovely. Like, I wish my flash was working right now, but my battery's low. But the color of this. Okay, so that's the total. That's what I get. That's what he got after the dry ice hash shake. And then after pressing it through a what size bag? Uh, press was a, this was a 30, 37, 37 micron. 37 micron. So. There you go, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the, we're calling this the dirty. This is the st stuff that had a little bit more of the plant matter to it. This was the first press. Remember, this was four and a half grams that we had. I expected to get a little less percentage out of this. One three-ish. One three, so far. We have a second press. Which um, is like not much. Not much. Probably maybe another quarter gram. So almost two grams out of four. So 50% return. Close to 50% return once again. Um, just kind of showing you guys what you can do. And if you want some uh, rosin, how to make it from dry ice hash. There you go. Page rock work. See, if this stuff was sappy, it would make it more difficult. My, my tool's a little warm for me. So that makes it a little difficult. But if some of your stuff is a little bit more stable, it, this stuff scrapes right up pretty quickly. Especially off parchment paper. Like I said, my, my tool's a little warm, so it's dropping off. Bloop. Yeah. All right. So anyhow, we'll be back. All right. So we're getting this all put together now. We are about to go do a live Saturday midday broadcast just to hang out with everybody. So you guys will probably already see the live broadcast by the time this is posted. But driving me nuts. It's so warm in here. I can't even collect it. But freezer time. We're going to show you doing some dabs of this as well during the uh, time of doing our live show. So you guys, we'll see you in a bit. We'll be right back. All right. So we're behind the studios. And Pedro's little studio about to go live. This is the second time I've got it. Look at that. I couldn't figure out what all this was sitting here, and I remember that we flip pressed a bunch of flour resin before mid fade came over. So. <laughs> so, this is the second time I've been blessed with coming over and seeing behind the scenes studios. One of Dung Beetle, now of Pedro. So, all right, people. I think we're going live, so we'll see you in a minute. Yep. See you in a minute. See, we're doing more behind the scenes. We're about to go live in, in like 12 minutes. So this is what it takes to get everything set up. He's got to send out the links to everybody. He's got to get everything set up. Everybody's link posted in the descriptions. There's a lot of work to actually hosting a show. You just don't sometimes jump on <clears throat> and record. Uh, there's a lot to producing some of this. Right, Pedro? Yes, sir. All right, we'll be back. All right, so Pedro just sent it out, links up, and we're about to kick it off in under eight minutes. Oh, there we go, first person in here. So we'll check back when we go to do some dabs of this uh, rosin that we have, and that will be the final of what's going on in the video. So we'll be back here in a few moments. <laughs> We got Dung Beetle. Okay. He's at the Hemp Fest showing us things going on right now. This is all behind the scenes. We're not even live yet. 
This is the best part about some of this footage. Oh, of course you got it all set up. Oh, there's Jinxie, Jinx. my boy. We've got we got a special guest here, Dung right Beetle. Now. Dung Beetle, where are you at? What are you doing over there? Oh, he's he's sounds good. Give uh, give Jinx and, and Miss Rose a big hug from Pedro. I appreciate this, man. Fears, cheers, brother. All right, later. Ooh. All right. Yeah, we got Paul Friday on right now. <laughs> we pressed just got done doing Raza a dab of everything. Uh, for Med for his visit. And, uh, and uh, yeah. We're just case testing now. That was, I'm liking that high right now after doing that dab and how I'm feeling. It's kind of just relaxing. I can feel my whole body calm. All you guys in live, I'm doing still some more footage behind the scenes of what's going on in Pedro's uh, studio. So that's going to be part of the footage on this. Uh, Dry ice hash rosin making. What are you smoking?